After we bounced the Nuggets out in six, people have been wondering where we're going next. Is it LA? Is it Phoenix? Is it Houston? Well, we are going to Texas, but we're not playing against Houston. I was on a flight and I wanted to check out more information on the team, and this is what they were showing us. I'm like, are you guys serious? I can understand having some team pride, but you guys are showing that in the in-flight movie? Are you serious? They're gonna show me this? Now, I'm already motivated, but this just put me over the top. You are going to see a rookie play as if he is in his prime. That's how pissed off I am at them. They're gonna pay for that. As you can see, Stephen Curry is still injured, so it's me and Dirk inside the pregame movie. And in case you guys don't know who you're watching, what's good YouTube? It's King Greco, the king of the... Actually, I'm not sure. I like the king of the chase down. And don't get me wrong, I still do get chase downs. It's just not as many as I was before in 2K11. So I was thinking about getting another nickname. I mean, I like the one I have now, and I know a lot of my subscribers like the nickname. But in Call of Duty, I tend to call myself the king of the comeback. And I think it really fits me more in 2K than anywhere else. So I don't know, like I seen a subscriber in my last video, the top comment was Mr. And One No Two. And I like that nickname, I thought that was kind of catchy. I wonder what other nicknames people have come up with, but I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I like, I like the game to chase down, but I just kind of want to, I want to mix it up every once in a while, you know? And these are my stats going into the, my seventh game of the playoffs. If you guys didn't see them, you can go back and pause if you need to. And I'm hype, I'm excited. And you should be too, because we're going up against the defending champions, the Dallas Mavericks. And this is the old Dallas Mavericks, not the new ones that get eliminated in the first round. This is the good Dallas Mavericks, the one that had Tyson Chandler and Karan Butler and Dirk Nowitzki, the one who is unguardable by anybody on my team. They don't put me at power forward, so he just runs right through Aminu, who isn't a power forward. And when he's not doing that, Lou Amundsen cannot keep up with him on speed. He can't jump as high as him. He can't run as fast as him. He can't shoot like him. He has no post defense. Lou Amundsen just should not be here. <sighs> He's like a D-League player, but whenever Dirk goes up against him, he scores like literally 9 out of every 10 times. So maybe even higher than that. I think he might score 11 out of 10 times. That's how bad it is. But this game and this series, every game until the end of the postseason, whenever it comes, I guarantee you it will be better more exciting i got a new, i got new moves got new fadeaways i got which i will be debuting tonight before the game is over i wonder if anybody will be able to figure out who it is before i say it but yeah look forward to all of this stuff these games are just going to be getting better no more bum teams now everybody has a superstar at this point and look at dirk Nowitzki shooting right in my teammate's face the one time he misses tyson Chandler's right there see that's something i don't think brendan hayward would have got away with and time's running out. Let me hit them with my own personal brand of shot clock cheese and alley oop. That one was crazy. He threw it over like six different players to get the ball to me. That's just. And he was like at four point range. That was just wild. And to make up for that shot clock cheese, Jason Kidd had a shot clock cheese of his own. But I will be getting a lot of alley oops this game. But you guys already know me to get my alley oops. And I get a nice assist to this Sangana Jop. Sean Marion, what a bum. How do you miss a wide open shot like that? I'm gonna make them pay for it. I'm gonna go bump into him, and I'm gonna go drive right by him for the dunk. Trying to give Karan Butler a little bit of space, and I should have bait him, but it didn't work out. Now I just gotta stay between him and the basket, but he just gets right around me. It's like my guy got frozen with my 90 on ball defense. I don't know what happened, but we're only down by two, so that's manageable. Still plenty of time to drive through the lane and get my M ones. We're only down by one right now, and I'm trying to feed my teammate, Lou Almondson. He gives it to Stephen Curry. Time's running out. They asked me for some shot clock cheese. I said I'll deliver with a D- minus on the shot because it was a running, like, fading, drifting, on-the-line shot. But, you know, it still counted. We got our two points. And then Dirk Nowitzki is doing what he does best, abusing my team. I told you, nobody on my team can stop him. Maybe me, but they won't put me as a power forward. Uh-oh, I had options, so you knew that was coming. You knew that was coming. <laughs> Corey Brewer takes a three. I'll give him that shot all day because he is not a good shooter from that range. And somehow they missed the second chance opportunity. They gave me the ball. I see Lou Amundsen cutting. I feed him the ball. A nice little up fake and then goes up for it. We're up by one. I'm trying to go use the Sangana's job. Let him go cut to the lane. 
and dunk on Dirk Nowitzki. Nobody can stop this guy from dunking. I don't even think he knows what a layup is, and he definitely does not know what a mid-range shot is. So this quarter is going to come to an end, and we're going to be going into the half. I'm not scoring any, like, 40 points this time by halftime. This is the type of game I want. I don't mind getting... I don't mind having 40 at the end of the game. I just don't want to have it at halftime. I don't want to feel like I need to score this much, regardless of who is injured and who's not injured on the scene. And speaking of injured, you guys did realize that Stephen Curry's playing with an injury, right? God's a trooper, but I don't want him to pull a Derrick Rose and be out for the whole postseason. Oh, just now they showed how I almost had a double-double. I'm getting my teammates involved. I'm scoring. We're shooting 15% higher than our opponents, but we are only up by one. Why is that happening? I got Karan Butler in the post. Try to create a little bit of space. He stops my drop step. So I just shot to Lou Almondson, who is having the night of his life. I think he already hit a new career high, and he's just going to keep going. We have another half of basketball. And if they're going to make dumb passes like that, which leads to open layups like that, then this is going to be a long night for them. They run off a double screen at the top of the key. as a pick and roll for Tyson Chandler and a pick and pop for Dirk Nowitzki, but they left Tyson Chandler alone. You can't leave a 7'1 player alone under the basket. I got past Jason Terry, so you know what's coming next. An alley-oop. That's my thing. You guys know I like my alley-oops so, and my blocks. I ran off his screen twice, and I fed it back to him, and now Lou Almas is dunking. That's how you can tell he's feeling confident right now. I'm trying to put the moves on Jason Kidd, but he stopped me. This is one tough defender. This is what he's known for. And I drove off of him for a very tough shot. I don't know how I got that to go, but I'm not going to bite the hand that feeds me. These guys are locking Mike Conley up. So he gave me the ball and he told me to just go for it. And I delivered. I dunked it on Tyson Chandler. And Jason Kidd even got a bit of a photo opportunity. OJ Mayo did a great job of drawing his defenders away. And left me wide open in the corner for a three. That was a terrible pass by me. I don't know what I was thinking. But that was a great pass by my teammate. I just flew out of nowhere. Dirk just turned around and he was just too embarrassed. Now Dirk versus Al Farouk Aminu. Aminu cannot guard him. Right in his face. He doesn't even care. Dirk is a beast in this game, man. So they give me the ball. Me versus Sean Marion. I got him posted up. And I'm going to drive off of him. And dunk on Tyson Chandler again. That one was sick. That was a disgusting dunk right there. Al Farouk Aminu is playing very tight defense on Karan Butler. But the game pretty much just said, F your couch. We don't care about you. We're going to disrespect you and give you some more shot clock cheese. One a quarter. At least one a quarter. So now we're running our favorite play again. It's not really my favorite play, but I already said to you guys plenty of times in the past that Mark Jackson just loves running this consecutively. And this is a very, very dumb moment for Jason Terry. He did a step back, and he had the opportunity to go the opposite way and avoid my charge, but he ran into me anyways, like he was trying to help us win this game. So to help continue the already great play by Lou Almondson, I'm going to dish it off to him and let him make an impossible shot. Why not? He's making everything tonight. This is the most points I've ever seen him score, and he's not done yet. I tried to go help out just now with some post defense, and he somehow made the hook shot. But I refuse to let Jason Kidd do it, too. No way. Mike Conley steals my rebound, <laughs> and I dish it off to Corey McGetty. Wide open in the corner. He's a great shooter in this game. The only problem, uh, not great, he's a good shooter in this game. But the problem with him is that he doesn't shoot enough. His tendency is so low in this. I don't understand why. But I guess I wouldn't have the worst team on YouTube if I didn't have players who didn't know how to use their abilities. And whoa, Desangana Jop didn't dunk on somebody. That must be the first time that happened. Tyson Chandler forces me into a loose ball animation and then Corey Brewer is like miles ahead of everybody else. So that's a dunk. So we're up by seven right now. We have a pretty solid lead. Try to set a screen for Mike Conley, but he doesn't want to use it, and the play just broke up, so he gave it to me. I can't get past Sean Marion, even though he's not moving, so I'm going to post him up, and with Tom running off the clock, I'm going to drive off of him and dunk it on Tyson Chandler again. He has got to hate him by now. Has to. Karan Butler posted up against Jeremy Lin. going to hit him with a post shimmy. Jeremy Lin's such a bad defender on my team. I think Earl Boykins can score on him in the post. But they're running a the full-court press, so you know what I'm thinking about doing. Driving right past Dirk and debuting my brand new dunk package. You guys know who it is? I'll tell you. It's Nate Robinson. That is the same dunk package I used for half of 2K11. The reason why I use it because I love how high he gets off the ground. 
It's made for a point guard, so when you use a bigger player, it just seems like he's so much higher than he should be. It's crazy. I love it. But we won our first game against the defending champions, and I'm happy. I guess we finally got back into our rhythm. We got into a flow. We're in the zone right now. I hope you guys are looking forward to game two. That game is going to be sick. It's going to be crazy. After that, I might release a Lakers rank match with a lot of crazy stuff happening in that one. I'll probably be uploading every three days or so because I don't want this to take until 2K13. But you guys know me, quality over quantity. And this is my performance report, 41 minutes, 44 points, 14 rebounds, 16 assists, 5 steals, 1 block, and only 5 turnovers. But the best part is that I only needed 25 shots to win this. That's the type of game I want to have from now on.